All right, welcome back and thank you for staying with KTN News. This is News Center. We continue bringing you the latest in terms of developments. Of course, keen eyes on State House Nairobi as the Jubilee Party Parliamentary Group meeting. This time round, the National Assembly is on the table. And this is barely a few days after the Jubilee Party Secretary General Rafael Tuju saying the acts will now move to the National Assembly. The president has gone ahead to continue convene the parliamentary group meeting. We just want to get a hint of the latest and what to expect out of this particular meeting. Jeff Kirui is joining us from City Centre. Very good morning to you, Jeff. What should we expect even as the president is keen on stamping his authority in parliament as he nears the end of his term? Well, a very good morning, Jesse. Indeed, the purge in the in Parliament actually continues after the changes at the Senate. And right now, actually, the meeting at State House, unlike uh, the parliamentary group meeting for the National Assembly, unlike that for the senators, all members of Parliament allied to the Jubilee Party, as well as those who are now who are affiliated to the Jubilee Coalition are actually attending that meeting. They've said that they're going to attend that meeting, all of them. And may top in the agenda, according to our sources, is that they're going to effect changes in the leadership in Parliament. And among those who are being targeted include Majority Leader Aden Duale, Majority Whip Benjamin Washali, as well as Deputy Majority Whip Cecil Marire. Those are just some of the top leadership in parliament who are expected to be removed and replaced so that when parliament resumes its sitting in the afternoon, uh, all the new leadership will take those changes. The new leadership will take their positions in the house. Of course, there will be as well those who will be asked from the departmental committees, among them uh, the budget committee chairman, Kimani Shungwa, that is the Kikui member of parliament. We have several as well as the transport committee chair, David Kosing, the, his deputy, Moses Kuria. Uh, we have the education committee, Julius Meli, ICT committee. Those are just some of the committees which uh, whose top leadership are perceived to be allies of the deputy president. And those are the people who are actually going to be targeted in what the party says they are organizing their committees. Remember, during the last part at the Senate, we saw that majority of those who are actually targeted are those who are perceived to be critics of President Uhuru Kenyatta. And perhaps some have actually argued that perhaps the changes in the National Assembly as well as the Senate is to lay ground for the constitutional changes which are coming, uh, of course, in due course after the BBI team actually concludes its report and the bill is tabled in Parliament. And as uh, uh, during that session to remove uh, the uh, former uh, Deputy Speaker, that is uh, Kidure Kindiki, from the seat, something that actually perhaps was outstanding is that speech by the ma minority leader, uh, James Orengo, alluding to the fact that in the next few months there will be changes which Parliament will play a key role in. And perhaps uh, painting a picture of what to expect, and some, has, uh, some have actually argued that the move to make changes in the National Assembly as well as the Senate is to lay ground to have leaders in specific positions who will drive that agenda of constitutional amendments. And of course we'll wait to see what exactly will come out of the meeting from State House today. Of course some of the members who are allied to the Deputy President Nadali indicated that if they will be given an opportunity to talk or rather to raise their concerns and air their issues, they will of course talk to the president and tell the president what is ailing a jubilee party. Of course, we'll be waiting to see what exactly will transpire in that meeting in the next few minutes or so. Remember, the meeting was expected to kick off at 9 in the morning. And from my sources, majority of the jubilee party members have actually attended that meeting and will be waiting to hear the resolutions and who are going to replace those who are actually going to be removed from those positions. Among them key in the house is the majority leader, that is Aden Duale, Benjamin Washali, and Cecil Mbarire. Jesse. Many thanks, Jeff Kirui. We definitely anticipate the resolutions from that particular parliamentary group meeting currently ongoing at State House, Nairobi. Remember, all this is set to actually cause more heads to roll, even as President Uhuru Kenyatta continues with his purge of the Jubilee Party. We'll keep you updated.